shipping industry faces worse storm than after financial crisis, warns Maersk boss. The shipping industry is in crisis with sector giant AP Muller Maersk reporting plunging profits and its boss saying conditions are now tougher than after the global financial crash. The Danish-based business reported that annual profs had collapsed, falling 8.4 pc after its oil unit was hit by lower energy prices and its container division battles anemic growth in global trade and overcapacity in the market. It is worse than in 2008, said Nils Andersen, chief executive speaking to the Financial Times. The oil price is as low as its lowest point in 2008 to 2009 and has stayed there for a long time and doesn't look like going up soon. Freight rates are lower. The external conditions are much worse but we are better prepared. Maersk posted net income of $791 million last year, against $5.02 bn in 2014 sending its shares down almost 4 pc after the results came in far below the $3.7 bn analysts had been expecting. The performance was dragged down by a $2.6 bn write-down on the value of Maersk's oil assets. The Baltic Dry Index, a benchmark for the health of the global shipping industry, has recently plumbed all-time lows. Given our expectation that the oil price will remain at a low level for a longer period, we have impaired the value of a number of Maersk Oil's assets, Mr. Anderson said in a statement. We will continue to strengthen the group's position through strong operational performance and growth investments. The world's biggest container vessel Mary Maersk arrives at the port of Qingdao during its maiden voyage in Qingdao, China. The ship is the third Maersk triple-E standard vessel, economy of scale, energy efficiency, environmentally improved. 400 meters in length and she can carry 18,000 containers. Credit, Wuhong slash EPA. In October, Maersk started cost-cutting programs for both of its two biggest units to deal with what analysts have described as a perfect storm for the business, which historically has found support from positive market conditions for at least one the two divisions. Maersk said Wednesday that 2016's underlying profit will be significantly below last year's $3.1 bn. The Maersk line unit's profit will also be significantly below 2015's level, which was $1.3 bn. Maersk Oil will report a loss this year, it said. The unit currently breaks even when oil prices are in a range of $45 to $55 a barrel, the company said. Jonathan Roach container market analyst at ship broker Braemar, said the industry is being squeezed from all sides. Global trade growth is basically flat and there's chronic overcapacity within the shipping sector that is not going to go away anytime soon, especially with lots of new ships due to come into service, he said. If you ignore the period just after the financial crash in terms of growth, then last year was the worst we've ever seen and it could be almost zero this year. He added that the opening of the widened the Panama Canal over the next few months will only see pressure on shipping lines to scrap smaller and older vessels as larger and more efficient ships will be able to use the waterway. Zombie ships send maritime freight into worst crisis in living memory. Maersk has been through a round of cost-cutting and the savings it can make may have now plateaued, Mr. Roach added saying that until the long-term trend of increasing international trade resumes shipping companies are likely to find themselves in a difficult position. Eventually the industry will need all the new ships that they have ordered but it could be years until that happens, he said. The industry could be swept up in a recession that lasts a decade rather than a few years. He added that to battle the stormy market, shipping lines could look to form further global alliances to ensure ships sail more laden with cargo and merger activity could increase to create industry giants which can achieve economies of scale.